Okay guys, stay tuned to the end of this video to find out how you could win a set of waterless top and leggings. Did you start a fire? You look like fire. doesn't look good. Just catching up on some messages and emails and things on the trampoline with Jets. Having the morning coffee. Today we're gonna be taking care of the family car a little bit. Doing some dinghy maintenance, motor maintenance. We actually have some pinholes in the raft that I'm gonna repair. Getting the office work done first and then we'll take care of that. the motor off and everything out of the dinghy. Now we gotta figure out where and how to lift it up. All right, we got the boat lifted and easy access to the repair area. I marked it the other day, I cleaned it as best I could and I marked it. And I don't know if you guys can see, but it's just a bunch of little pinholes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Some of them aren't even all the way through. This is one that's not all the way through, but it's this whole area. There's like three or four that leak, and it's one, two, it's like right here. So we're gonna patch that whole area. And I've read multiple sources where some say to leave the tube inflated, some say to deflate the tube, and I don't know. We're gonna leave it inflated, try it out, because they're, like I said, it's a really slow leak. So I don't think there's gonna be enough pressure to like bubble up the patch or anything. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Just because trying to deflate it and then apply a patch, there's like no backing or anything. I don't know, I'd have to flip it up upside down on the trampoline or something, but this is way easier. So we'll, hopefully it works. I've never done this before, disclaimer. So it's not a how-to, this is just, we're repairing our dinghy. Um, but I do know a few things and I'll try to relay a few important points that I'm learning along the way. But one thing is when you cut out your patch, make sure all the corners are nice and rounded and there's no sharp corners or anything like that. Um, everything should be round, because if you do have a corner, that's what's gonna peel up first from the patch. We got our patch cut, we got it outlined on the repair. We're gonna sand down this whole area. We're gonna sand down the back of the patch, clean it off, then apply the glue on the back of here, apply glue here, let it dry a little. After a certain amount of time, we're gonna apply some more glue and then we're gonna patch it up. So this is the stuff that came with the dinghy in the repair kit and it's some sort of MEK based glue um, which I guess is the one they recommend. I think there's two part glues as well 
um, but this is one that came with this, so this is the one we're using, and it seems like it dries super, super quick, so with that throwaway brush, hairs were getting stuck in it. It seemed like the trick was just to keep that brush wet enough, as, like, as soon as you do a few strokes, put some more on, and keep going, um, otherwise it was like drying and, and pulling the hairs out onto the repair. But uh, there we go, that's the first coat, and then we're gonna wait a little bit, I gotta look up the time, and then uh, we're gonna do one more quick light coat over the top of both of them, and then we'll stick it on and roll it on. That's what the direction said. It's been about 10 to 15 minutes, but it's pretty warm out, and it feels dry on both surfaces, so we're gonna go with the second coat, wait like five minutes, and then put them on. It says to use a seam roller, but I don't have one of those, so we're just using the bottom edge of a coconut oil jar to roll it on. Try to get all these air bubbles out. What do you think, Chats? Is it good? Let it cure for like 24 hours? And we'll test it out. So while we're at it, while I took the motor off and everything, we're gonna do full engine maintenance. Again, this is not a how-to, because I've only done it once on this motor. I've done it a bunch on my whaler motor, but I'm no expert. I just follow directions and use some common sense. Change the lower unit fluid, the water pump, the motor oil, because it's a four stroke. Uh, might leave the zinc for now, we'll see. Spark plug will change out. Get the lower unit off, we're gonna take the water pump housing off. Ooh, we got a broken fin. You guys see that? The bottom, the bottom fin there is broken. That's no good at all. Gotta find that piece. I think we're replacing this. All right, so we got some gaskets. And the, I think this is called the wear plate, the metal plate. And this gasket goes on the bottom. I cleaned up the surface on this side. This gasket goes on first. Check that out. The whole missing fin. I got it out though, so we're all good. All right, we got the whole water pump and everything. Back on the housing, everything's back on, so we're gonna put the lower unit back on. Move on to the next thing. Just greasing up the lower unit bolts that was recommended to me by a few people actually. For next time, when it, so just to make it a little easier to come off next time. Oh, we gotta grease up this spline a little bit. gonna do with the lower unit oil now, the gear case oil. Getting there, getting there. Sorry guys, the camera died. But we finished all the maintenance. We did zinc, gear case oil, motor oil, Replace some clamps, the whole water pump. We greased it up. There's the grease fittings over here. There, and there's a couple up there for the tilt. Fuel filter, spark plugs, all the good stuff. I put the dinghy back to normal, but I'm not gonna put in the water till tomorrow, so we're gonna inflate the inflatable paddleboard to get over to shore. How's that sound? Jay's my working buddy all day. So here, went to the gym this morning, then went to our parents' house, did a bunch of computer work at our parents' house. All right, here we go.
are kind enough to let us store our vehicles at their house while we're traveling and I have this old Dodge Diesel 99 I love this thing uh, it's kind of a beater but it's awesome but it's great to have to run errands especially when we're doing boat work and just run around and get supplies and everything like that Whew. we're gonna go to the gym Sierra's picking up Jetty that's it for today Thank you guys for hanging out with me, especially while Sierra was at the, her parents doing work. We got a lot done, a lot of necessary stuff done while we're here in Florida before we cruise over to the Bahamas. Quite a few more days like that. Boat work and upgrades and maintenance. And it's just really easy to do here. We have supplies, we have everything we need. If we don't have it, we can get it easily. We have a vehicle. Cool, we'll see you guys later. Good thing we got insurance on that one. Engine's back on, and we're just loading the rest of this, this stuff into the dinghy. Hey, Thanks so much for watching this video. As part of our 12 Days of Christmas giveaway, today we're giving away a set of Waterlust top and leggings. You can choose either a tiger shark print or a whale shark print. These are the whale shark prints. They're a super awesome company. They donate a percent of their profits to education and research and everything in the marine world. Also, this outfit is made out of a combination between recycled plastic bottles and retired fishing nets, which is awesome. And in order to enter, you have to... In the comment below, let us know what your favorite shark is, your favorite type of shark. And for additional entries, head on over to our Instagram accounts, mine and Sierra's, and little, little show right here. We'll post a picture of our favorite shark. You have to comment your favorite. You can get additional entries if you post a comment with a positive fact about a shark. And you also have to follow Waterlust on Instagram. Also for the next few days, we got a couple more giveaways coming, all on Instagram, pretty much. A bag made out of sails, and there's always a story with the product that are made out of old sails. It's from Hoist Away Bags, and they're actually turning our old sails into some cool stuff. So this isn't our old sails yet, um, but this is something that we're giving away, as well as two mugs with an old nautical saying on it, splice the main brace. So this is Friday's giveaway on Instagram. The next day, Saturday, you could win this beautiful metal, it's in a plastic covering because we don't want to scratch it, but a metal HD print from one of our good friends, Jeff B. She's a photographer and he took this at the Jupiter Lighthouse. It's of a green sea turtle and it's awesome. Let's, and it could be yours. Let's roll what Jeff has to say about this. Hi guys, <laughs> this shot was the product of like 200 hours of shooting. Four years I've been showing up here and to get the shot when the turtle comes up to breathe is really hard because that's a point where they're really vulnerable and if a tiger shark's gonna eat them, that's when it's gonna happen. So you stay under the water 
wait till he comes up, then you pop up, focus real quick, and get the shot. So it's a pretty special shot. So, and it could be hanging on your wall. So, all right, cool, you guys. Well, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. And we'll see you over on our Instagrams for some of these giveaways. Good luck.